Hey, good morning. It's Donald and Mary and we're here to bring you a morning weather report. So today, uh, I want to start off with this dense fog advisory issued December 2nd at 310 a.m. Eastern Time until December 2nd, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And it's an urgent weather message. Uh, dense fog advisory in effect until 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, it is 10, uh, 12 to 2023 at 6.08 a.m. So visibility is less than one mile in dense fog, uh, where portions of north central, northeast and northwest and west central Georgia. When? Until 9 a.m. Eastern this morning. Impacts. Hazardous driving conditions due to low visibility. Precautionary uh, actions if driving, drive slow, use your headlights, leave plenty of distance uh, between you and the driver. So, and I have driven through the fog and nailed, a, nailed that deer in my M2. Remember that, bro? The fog is so dense, you can't see past your and, headlights. And I was going slow through there. That's actually a 55 mile per hour zone. And I was doing like 35 or 40 if that and uh there is a deer crossing there and i did not see him the deer literally popped right out in front of me and i ended up clipping it and taking out uh the left side of my car so uh it's anything can happen out here especially with the deer they're everywhere it's hunting season so they are scattered everywhere because of the hunters pushing them into uh, uh, populated areas or uh yeah. Urban areas or yeah. whatever. Yeah, so they're everywhere. So watch out. I had one jump over our car there over here. Literally, ju Mary was behind me and jumped out over my car in front of it and kept on running. Man, it's a big old buck. But that was all in the fog. So we we're lucky on that one. All right. So today we're looking at areas of fog and a chance of rain showers before 7 a.m. Then rain showers likely in areas of fog between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Then areas of fog and showers and thunderstorms. Cloudy with a high near 55 degrees Fahrenheit. South wind 10 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 90%. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and a half of an inch is possible. Tonight, rain showers and areas of fog before midnight then areas of fog and a chance of rain showers between midnight and 2 a.m then showers and areas of fog cloudy with a low around 53 degrees fahrenheit southwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour chance of precipitation is 90 percent new rainfall amounts between a quarter and half of an inch is possible be aware of the bad weather here right now man it is cold and um wet and once you get wet here man it's hard to dry out especially in the cold all right that's what we have going on for uh the higher elevation weather mary's gonna go ahead and tell you what's going on with the lower thank you donald mm -hmm. all right good morning everyone as donald was saying um uh, watch out for the fog here in blairsville at 2,000 feet and below we we have that same dense fog advisory. It is 56 degrees right now, cloudy. Uh, we do have, let's see, a 98% chance of rain today. Our high temperature is gonna be 63 degrees and um, gonna get rain early and then it's gonna remain cloudy with showers throughout the afternoon, which is gonna bring it up to eventually 100% chance of rain. Uh, the wind's gonna be southeast at five miles per hour and then 55 degrees tonight for our low with a 59% chance of rain. Uh, winds are going to be light around south, three miles per hour. Um, right now out on the trail for water, nothing really has changed except for the rain has brought some areas that may have a little bit of water flow for the moment for, you know, a couple of days until it stops. Right now between Neal Gap and Unicoi Gap, the only solid water source is Little Gap Shelter. I just picked up some guys at Unicoi and brought them back down to Helen yesterday. I brought them to Springer earlier last week and they were telling me about Little Gap being the only water source from Neal to Unicoi. 
to make sure if you're coming out, you bring uh, enough water, uh, bring a platypus or something to carry water for camp. Make sure you have enough, stay hydrated. Because even in the cooler temperatures, you can dehydrate. That's what I have going on right now. Uh, Donald, do we have anything else that we want to talk about this morning? Uh, no, man. Great info. Thank mm -hmm. you. No, we're good, man. Um, I'm just looking. Oh, and also, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, no worries. November 28th, the fire ban was lifted. Um, they're asking that if you do have a fire, of course, make it in the rings. Be cautious. Put it out fully. Uh, it's still dry out here. Even though we've had some rain, it will dry up really quick and go back to being the fuel for the fire. So let's all be cautious. The winds can get really high sometimes. So we want to make sure that fire is out fully if we make them. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. All right, so uh, it looks like it's going to rain and be windy and very cold for the next couple of days. Be super aware of that, guys, mm -hmm. okay? All right, we're going to end it here, man. If anyone needs anything at all, give Mary and I a call, and we will do our best to assist you. Um, we should be around today, floundering around somewhere, man. All right. Thank you. One love, my friends. Peace.